Now that I've got some scope set up, it's time to look at how to configure options when you didn't set up them in the wizard. So here we have two scopes. And simply we can right click on the scope and we'll say configure option, which we configure it here. So let's do it on server scope. And of course, this is the second option for the scope. The first one is scope option. That means if you didn't configure scope option, the scope will inherit the configuration from the server option. But if you configure a scope option, it will ignore server option here. That's great. So here, we'll specify the DNS. So we'll say lab dot local and here just say resolve and it will resolve your dns which is your active directory so we'll say apply and we'll go to the option 15 for dns domain name so we'll say lab dot local again and we'll say apply so here in server options we'll do a refresh as you can see we have two options here so if I go to the scope option here and we'll delete these options and again we'll do a refresh as you can see in the scope option we have two new options which as you can see it clearly that server option with the server icon here and this is going to be scope option and here we have only scope options here. This is how scope option and server option works. As I mentioned before, if you didn't configure a scope option here, the first choice is going to be server option. But if you set the scope option, again, server option will ignore. So again, here we'll say, for example, lab.local. As you can see again, the icon is changed to the scope option. 